Hey, hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the WCW Worldwide Review Series for the uh, Janu uh, March 27th edition, 1993. Uh, we've got some more of these to go, probably about um, maybe a little under 15, probably 10 more maybe, something like that, and then we're going to go backwards, but more... And more of these. Also, we're going to look into All-American Wrestling eventually. We're going to look into adding house shows to things, uh, MSG, Spectrum, and uh, just have some fun with more old-school wrestling. The goal, to be the largest uh, audio archive of wrestling review so that you don't have to sit through matches that don't matter. Anyway, Johnny, we've added an enhancement match here. Punches and kicks and basic stuff. Hits the kiss that don't miss. Gets the victory there. Uh, Eric Watts says he's still ready to fight anybody at any time, not uh, willing to take a backward step. Talks about being a former uh, football player and knowing what it is to, to fight from underneath. Vinny Vegas and Eric Watts in the television championship uh, tournament. Uh, obviously, going into that is a pretty big deal. Vegas obviously has been relatively successful during this time period, but not enough to be kept around the area. Uh, Ole Anderson and other bookers not exactly impressed with Nash at the time. Uh, Watts stays on the leg um, and tries to hook in the SDF. The leg switches to a grinding chin lock by um, Vinny Vegas there. Attempted sunset flip doesn't get all he wants on that, but gets enough to get him over for the short run of it. Uh, Van Hammer, who Vinny Vegas has been having trouble with, makes his way down. Release power bomb by Nash, aka Vinny Vegas, and uh, talks a good game towards uh, his adversary here, uh, but uh, gets rolled up because he's distracted by Van Hammer on the outside. Doesn't exactly go well for him there. Uh, Van Hammer, though, is happy with that. Uh, doesn't to get. Uh, Completely pinned, but actually does get pinned, or at least he doesn't think he gets pinned anyhow. Uh, Ric Flair with another promo talking about the return of the Horseman, uh, including Arn Anderson saying he's glad that Flair's back. Uh, at this point, Anderson's still aligned with Bobby Eaton, but that doesn't last more than a couple of weeks at most here. Sting gets a rare match on this particular program because his matches have been mostly relocated to the main program at WCW Saturday Night. And an enhancement uh, match for Sting post the pay-per-view kind of gets lost in the in the shuffle here. A uh, series of body slams by Sting, obviously nothing to write home about, but at the same time, still pretty uh, assertive, aggressive as it were there. Sting goes into the Stinger Splash in the corner in the Scorpion Deathlock and another victory for the Stinger. He promises to be the best wrestler he can possibly be for the sake of the fans. Uh, Steve uh, Austin and uh, Brian Pillman versus Steamboat and Douglas here is your main event of the day. Uh, Austin and uh, Pillman are the main challengers for the, the championships. Beautiful match worth going out of your way to see if you have the inclination. Uh, Steamboat and Douglas cut the ring off on Austin for a little while there. Double hip tosses after uh, Steamboat has held control of the match for a little while. Uh, chop block by Pillman takes Douglas down to the mat and uh, attempted figure four kicks him off. Roll up by Douglas doesn't get all he wants on it, but gets nearly enough. Um, then we see the continuation of the match. Um, Pillman goes one-on-one -on -one with, with Steamboat and hits several hard shots along the way. Basic things along the way there, included, including but not limited to attempt to, uh, attempt to take him over with the vertical suplex along the, uh, the, the pathway. And ultimately, hard shots there. Kick off by Steamboat and uh, um, Austin gets put into a rather uh, rudimentary move in the abdominal stretch, but it's a pretty big deal. Fire up, Shane Douglas tags in and uh, hits, a, hits a beautiful press slam on Flying Brian. Brian begging off. Brian's heel work here is phenomenal. Worth going out of your way to see because he's just that, that whiny, smarmy heel. 
tag back to Steamboat. Steamboat uh, does the chicken wing on the arm, and then you see uh, Douglas come back in with double team. Probably one of the better worldwide matches for 1993 is this match right here. Um, then the match continues. Austin comes back in and brawls his way. Certainly does more of the aggressive brawling, as it were. Um, hard shots by Pillman. Pillman catches Douglas with a cheap shot along the way. Doesn't get all he wants on it, but does get enough. Um, Douglas comes in, fires back with a series of punches and other basic things along the way there. And eventually... What we what we have is the need for me to grab my phone. I will be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail, and we will finish out this match. I think this actually might be the hard shots, and then we see Steamboat uh, with a with a massive comeback again. One of the better matches for Worldwide at the time by far. Uh, Steamboat sends both guys together with double noggin knockers. Steamboat then manages to hit. A couple of uh, body slams on the floor. Uh, then the match spills out to the floor. Uh, Austin hits Douglas with a body slam on the floor. Uh, there is a collision between uh, Steamboat and Pillman on the in the in-ring. And Austin grabs one of the tag, tag team championship belts, nails... Um, Steamboat in the head, in the back of the head with it, and that is the victory for the championship. Um, here in uh, March 27th, 1993, Hollywood Blondes, your new tag team champions. Uh, then we see hype for a increased presence for Bagwell and Scorpio coming up. Uh, a a review where the Hollywood Blondes basically say, "I told you so" in an interview. Uh, Tony Schiavone and uh, Jesse Ventura both present for that one. And we close the program on that basis. We'll be back with more right after this.